It has been raining all day and I don't want to have to go out in the thunder to touch all these fences since it's more likely I get hit by lightning than ever winning the lottery. But I need to go feed my chickens and I really only feed them about one bucket of food a day now. It has a little bit of chicken feed that has probiotics in it. It's not the brand I was buying when they quit laying. And of course there's a few scraps in there and um, I put in about a scoop and a half of oats and sunflower seeds, a scoop of cat food, a scoop of alfalfa. I usually soak the alfalfa in cat food first. They won't hardly eat either one when it's in like hard form. And then I mix it in with everything else. There is about a tablespoon or two of kelp in there, a little oregano oil, some cinnamon, um, put a little chia this time, stuff like that. And I do this every day and I'm getting so many freaking eggs I may have to start selling them again. Uh, the rain has died down so I wanted to get eggs as soon as possible so they don't get muddy poopy feet on the eggs and ruin them. Um, this is eight eggs and I may still get a few more before the day is over. And I have, I'd say, 13 laying hens right now. And two are cochin so they don't usually lay as much. Um, none of these really look like cochin. That might be a cochin egg. It's the only one that looks remotely like one. And... I only have one red star, one leghorn. This is from uh, Squeaker, I call her. And she's half leghorn, so she has these beautiful cream eggs. And then this one looks small. I think that's a new, I think that might be from uh, Ursula, who is another uh, hen that was born here. So anyway, um, if I have 13 laying hens and I've already gotten eight, I'm getting more than one egg per half a day, which is pretty good for February. When I was only getting zero to one or two eggs since last, I don't know, fall, like early fall, late summer, when I was feeding them that other feed, and I don't even free feed them anymore, so I'm actually saving money in the long run. Buying all the different ingredients probably costs more in the beginning, but not anymore. So, um, I am more than happy that I'm only feeding a bucket a day for all my chickens and getting this many beautiful eggs. I, I don't think we can eat this much because we're getting, I don't know, 8 to 11 a day with 13 hens now, which is a lot. And so obviously that is, you know, half a dozen to a dozen a day. And I eat on average three eggs a day. My kids don't usually eat that many. My son might. And sometimes we'll bake with them. Buffy, that's Buffy. She's very smart. She's upset. She sees a big old buzzard out there. You see that big old buzzard in that tree? I don't know if y'all can see it. She's telling on it. She's letting everybody know. So far, she's my best alert chicken. You're smart, aren't you, Buffy? Tell them. Tell them. Yeah, girl, you got this. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what was I thinking? Uh, I heard a hawk out there. Sometimes the blue jays imitate them to let us know they're here. Crows help us out too. I have half the thing bird netted over. I did not want to, but I have to because a hawk was flying over the other day like a drone in one spot. So they're in trouble now. They don't usually hang out on this end of the run much because it's usually sunny, but it's not today. Uh, we've got half of it covered where they usually hang out, but we got to cover this side too. It's been raining all day. Now, old school homesteaders know this stuff, but a lot of new backyard chicken enthusiasts don't. And you need to identify all the weeds that grow in your yard because, believe it or not, more than half of them are probably medicinal and edible. This is henbit and chickweed, both of which my chickens love. With all this rain, they're everywhere. And I get to pick buckets and buckets and buckets full, and it's free food. Not only is it free food, but it's full of nutrition and gives my, like, if you don't want to eat it, um, you can make, I think, tea out of the henbit is related to mint. And then the chickweed has some other properties too, but I do think that chickweed might be one that has a lot of saponins. Um, whenever there's wild edibles, not all uh, wild edible people will tell you about oxalates and saponins, which can be in high amounts in wild um, food. 
because they're wild, they have so much more nutrition than the cultivated stuff that we buy in the grocery store. And so it can be harsh on your stomach. So a lot of times wild herbs are more as a medicine rather than a food for us. But the chickens process it and turn it into very happy, healthy, yolky eggs, which is wonderful for me.